Welcome to my home garden. Today I'm going to be showing you my chickens and how I look after them and some of the things I do to protect them and to keep them healthy. So if you've not already subscribed to my channel, which you can please do so because you'll get lots of helpful hints and tips all throughout the year from my allotment, my home garden and also my home kitchen. Now I have five chickens there. I call them my girls. So we've had them a little while now and they're laying eggs for us beautifully. As you can see, uh, we've made the run ourselves, so it's a little bit make do and mend, but you can buy some really good ones if you want to. We've got chicken wire all around the outside and over the top to protect them from predators. So it's an idyllic concept having them running all around your garden, but the reality is, is, is they can get in danger and they do make a lot of mess when they run around your whole garden. So although they do run around the whole garden from time to time, the majority, they are in there and they're kept nice and safe. Something else we do to keep them safe is we've got an automated hatch that goes up and down automatically. It's a Titan brand. So at the, in the evening it drops down and in the morning it comes back up again. So they're always closed up safely at night and chickens are quite habitual creatures. Once you've had them a few weeks, they will just take themselves off to bed um, at, a, at, at a good time and the hatch will come down so they'll always be safe and secure. It's just the first few weeks when you get them, you have to make sure they go into the house before the hatch goes down. So one of the things we bore in mind when we put this run and house together is that animals can burrow underneath so we're quite fortunate we have concrete down where the fencing is and across this side so nothing can burrow in that side it goes around, around quite deep so when we were finishing off the ends the only things we really had to secure were the ends either side and the ends either side we've got slabs we've got pebbles we've got various things to stop predators coming in and any tiny little gaps we've got little bits of chicken wire bunched up so nothing can get in and obviously they can't get out you'll be amazed what houdini's chickens can be now you obviously need a drinking um carrier for them and we've got that there and something to keep the food in the reason we've got that lid over the top again a little bit makeshift is when it rains obviously all the feed gets wet and it gets all soggy and they can't they can't get to it something else that's really handy to have is a chicken manual. This is the one we've got and it's really, really handy because you can identify some common issues and some common questions that you might have. I will put a link in the description so you can purchase that if you wish. We also get chicken feed that we feed them so they get fed a proper layers pellet compound. They do get a few treats, a few greens and things, but the pellets have all the right nutrients in them for them to produce healthy eggs with a good hard shell. So we always keep our feed in a, in a plastic container that we managed to get and because otherwise you know rats or mice could get it if you just left it in the bag so that's one thing to really bear in mind the feed that you get must be in some kind of container that's protected from rats and other vermin something else we use is a dust to help protect them from various mites this is what i use here so multi-mite derotomaceous earth powder so it's a natural organic and we, we brush it round in, inside the house and put a little bit in the nest box so you can get in all sorts of bugs and we apply it using a brush it's really really simple and it works brilliantly we tried lots and lots of other things to stop little mites and things which your chickens get you know it's perfectly normal this was the only one that we found was really really effective from a multitude of different bugs and things that they can get so you buy a big bag of it and it lasts you for absolutely ages and you can use it for other things around the house and garden. And I will put a link in the description again to that. And as with the other one, it is worth keeping it in a tub just to protect it. So my, my husband built our chicken run because he likes doing things like that. Um, but obviously you can purchase one. So I've got my little hatches down here where I get the eggs out. So if you do build on yourself, bear in mind that you need to be able to get the eggs out really easily. So if we have a look to see whether they've laid anything today. Oh, wow, well, yep, we've got some in there. I mean, generally speaking, I do get between three and five eggs a day. It just all depends, you know, they're not machines. So sometimes they lay and sometimes they don't. But generally speaking, it is quite a steady supply of eggs that I get. So nice, healthy and organic, because obviously there's no, we don't treat them with anything. And obviously when my husband built this, he built perches in there for them to sleep on. You know, chickens naturally perch on there. And we also put sawdust in the bottom 
to um, for the chickens as well. So a regular supply of sawdust is also very handy as well. There we go. So having chickens is something that we really enjoy. We've had them for about nine years. So it's something that, you know, it is a little bit of work, but personally I think it's worth it. And they are a lot of fun and they make the garden feel like a home. So I really hope that that's helped you. And it's given you some hints and tips on how to keep chickens. And if you've got any questions or queries, please don't hesitate to ask them and we'll do our best to, to reply to any comments.